Uh, my name is Julia Olmsted. I am the Farmer-Led Watershed Council Project Coordinator for UW Extension. And uh, I work in four different counties uh, here in Northwest Wisconsin. Um, we have in each county four, uh, four farmer-led watersheds. And the, the goal of those watersheds is to um, bring farmers together to create leadership, education, and outreach around soil health, um, and uh, water quality improvements and um, really uh, it's a it's a fantastic partnership between UW Extension, um, Wisconsin DNR, um, and the land conservation departments of Pierce, Polk, St. Croix, and Dunn counties um, and Wisconsin Farmers Union as well and um, we the, really those councils are at the heart of how this project that we're doing um, with our SARE funding got started which is really um, a way to try out things on the land um, and see what works and what doesn't um, for farmers who are interested in trying new practices. And for us, um, our farmers are really interested in cover crops and no-till, um, which we don't have as much of as in other parts of the Midwest, um, but we know that they're really important practices for achieving the goals that we want to achieve. Um, but given the growing season and things that um, the farmer here that I work with is going to talk maybe a little bit about. Um, we, we know that we need to see what works and what doesn't. And so this um, gave us a great opportunity to try some of that out. I'm Brad Peterson. I'm the farmer operator with this plot. Uh, I've been with the Rocky Branch watershed since, since it started and, and helped uh, move it into the South Kinney watershed now as we expand. And we've done a lot of physical structures to help improve water quality, and we're looking now to change some of these farming practices we have to help uh, reduce runoff and minimize our P phosphorus index. And so we've been here with this field behind us. We've got uh, no-till corn on corn that uh, we're, we've got a study out here where we're using no-till versus tilled versus tilled with cover crops and no-till with cover crops. And we are also investigating the yield differences and soil health differences between the multi-species uh, cover crops and regular cereal rye as a cover crop. Um, our intent is to come in here with a high boy seeder and apply the seed probably at uh, around the end of August at physiological plant maturity here on the corn and we'll see see how that goes so hopefully we can get through here if not we'll try to come up with a with another another way to get it my name is Dan Sitz I'm with the Pierce County Land Conservation Department I'm a conservation technician um, my involvement I guess uh, I work with farmers and landowners in the county, try to provide financial and technical assistance on, on any conservation practices, uh, try and help them out any way we can. I'm also helping out Julia with the, the South Kinney Farmland Watershed Council, uh, just providing technical assistance for them when they need it. And, and you know, our overall goal, of course, like these two mentioned, was reducing the uh, phosphorus that gets from our fields to our surface water. And, um, you know, through cover crops and a variety of other practices, our goal over the years is to reduce that, is to document reduction in phosphorus in the sub-watersheds of the South Fork uh, and the Rocky Branch.